America, the technicians, the entertainers, the commentators, the administrative personnel daily unite their efforts in the creation of programs to please and entertain the vast radio Monkey Knots, and welcome aboard. It's me, Jack, here for this week in the Monkey House, your radio time machine back to recent history, right here in the house. Oh, man, am I excited that you're here, because for the next four hours, we are going to go on a time-traveling odyssey back all the way to, well, okay, July. I, I, yeah, it was like four weeks ago, but still, that's a big deal. I mean, who has ever gone on a time-traveling odyssey that far before? I, okay, there was Marty McFly. He famously went from the year 1980. Back to 1955, and actually in Back to the Future 3, he went back to 1885. Wow, that's that's a hundred years in the past. Oh, okay, we're not going to go that far back, but we are going to go back like, I don't know, four or five weeks? That's still a pretty big deal. Uh, this, of course, is This Week in the Monkey House, your backwards-glancing view at what we've been up to here in the Monkey House, and what better way to start us out than with a deep dive in the voicemail inbox. Hi, I'm Taste, and I wanted to say... An ice cream that you have to get David to eat. Oh, I see. Liver and onion. Liver and onion? Flavor. Wait, ice cream with liver and onion? Ice cream. Uh-huh. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Wait. Oh, I remember what you're talking about. Of course, this was back... But well, the beginning of July, July 6th, we invented a brand new ice cream truck here at Live in the Monkey House called the Double Dare Ice Cream Truck. That's right. Uh, loosely related to the uh, classic Nickelodeon game show for kids and families called Double Dare, where if you didn't know the answer to a question, you would have to be dared to do, like, some physical activity. And then, uh, if you didn't want to do the phys physical activity, you could double dare the other team, and then they had to do it. Well, this is uh, an ice cream truck full of ice creams so odd, and dare I say off-putting, like liver and onions ice cream, that you would have to be dared to even try them. I mean, sure, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, even all of them at once. We call that Neapolitan. These are all pretty pedestrian flavors, but I want to know if you could make a brand new flavor that's so challenging it would take a double, and in some cases, double dog dare to try, what would it be? And when we come back, we're going to sample those flavors. Would it like 